everyone. Oh, hi. <laughs> so I have a problem that I believe we can actually solve tonight. Because I know we won't let a small thing like $300,000 be the reason thousands of students are too hungry to thrive right here in Waterloo Region. So I want you to raise your hand if you believe that food is essential. <laughs> so that was a bit of a, a trick question. But raise your hand if you believe that poverty alone is the reason that a young person might go without food. I want you to imagine this grade 10 student. The kitchen is where her abusive parent has coffee every single morning, so she knows she's safer to leave her school unnoticed rather than heading to the kitchen to pack a lunch. This child's single parent is working two jobs and caring for his elderly parents. He intended to pack his son a lunch, but he got called in to work overtime. So my question for us tonight is, should either of these kids go hungry at school? See, youth hunger is not just a poverty conversation. This is a youth equity story. And at Nutrition for Learning, we don't just believe, we know that every student, regardless of why they're hungry, should have the food that they need to thrive during the school day. And that's why for 26 years, Nutrition for Learning has been providing unfailing support to both school boards and Waterloo Region with our universally accessible model. What does that mean? Well, students can access fresh produce, proteins, and whole grains with no questions asked and never feel stigmatized or ashamed. And I feel like you might be asking yourself, but really, how big can this problem even be in a community like Waterloo Region? Actually, we have some of the highest rates of food bank usage right here in all of Southern Ontario. And right now, the current economic crisis is climbing to levels where the need for our program, it just skyrockets every single week. And I know that all of us who go to the grocery store, which is every single one of us, we are feeling the impact of rising food costs. Since the pandemic, we have scaled to provide 2 million meals annually to students, 100,000 students, K to 12. Our food costs alone last year doubled from the year prior to 1.5 million. And right now, I need $300,000 to get our highest need schools through to the end of the school year. Some of them are serving single school up to 600 meals every single day and still barely meeting the need. That's a lot. And I ask myself sometimes, am I going to have to pick up the phone and ask some of these schools to scale back and decide which half of these kids should go hungry? See, food for all completely changes lifelong eating habits. It improves, as we know, physical and mental health, and it obviously elevates student outcomes and potential. With so many complex challenges in our community, youth hunger is one that we actually have solved here for Waterloo Region at Nutrition for Learning. It's just that we need a little help right now to bridge a gap. So, if you gave $80 a month, barely the cost of a dinner out, if you can believe it, you would provide 744 meals this year. And if everyone in this room followed suit, we would more than cover our shortfall. I think we can all agree that food for all 
is a basic human right, especially for children, right? Especially for children. So I'm asking you, will you give up a single meal a month to guarantee that right for the next generation? Thank you.